Hey there, I'm Avalon. Um, I released my game, uh, The Garden, and I was thinking that it'd be pretty cool if um, I also did a sort of like director's commentary let's play type of thing, um, where I kind of talk about um, the process of making the game while going through it and showing you the different parts of the world. Um, it's like one of my favorite projects that I've done throughout the years and um, it started out as like something kind of different but kind of it just kept the same energy and I think that it's finally at its um, at like a good place you know um, I've always wanted it to become a comic which I'm releasing with the game and um, the, the game was just a way of um, letting people who don't really have that um, inner mind's eye to be able to see and experience the garden because it wasn't um, a visualization you would hear through audio. Um, it was just like a story over some music and um, in, you would go in installation and y this n narrative um, that was spoken by a, a text-to-speech type of like AI voice uh, would talk to you about um, seeing this like magical place but I learned that there's like some people that don't have imaginations <laughs> uh, and that it's not like oh they like like a bad thing it's just that's just how their mind works so um, I felt like making a video game would help um, experience what others haven't been able to experience. Um, so yeah, and also it helps with people who do have imagination to like just like kind of ex view what I've been trying to like um, communicate, you know? Anyways, I mean, yeah, okay, let's just check out the game. <laughs> so I started this game in 2016. Um, Spring. You've come to a point. A place. A space. Another. Have you ever had deja vu? The feeling is sort of cyclical. Was it a dream? Or a bridge in reality. Here we go again. Am I right? Um, this is Flora. Um, Flora is a spring sprite, and they always have a spring in their step, let's say. Um, they're the type of person that, like, when you're lost, um, they'll help you find your way, you know? Um, I felt like this one is like, you know when you're you meet someone new, but it feels like you've met them before. Um, so if there's something kind of special, magical about these people. Um, the, I made this character actually based off of some really close people in my life. And um, they always mean a lot. So it's always good to see them. Um, I feel like this flower really represents them, and it's um, this space is about reassurance and um, that idea of coming back into the world is just um, about like feeling welcome, you know. So I feel like it's a good place to start with Flora. Alright, let's get to the next phase. This is spring, so let's go to summer. Summer's like a swamp. Summer. This time we flow towards our goals. Have you ever made a wish and it came through? There's always a chance it could happen. Wish for good things and they come back to you. If you put this energy into the universe, it will listen and, like the butterfly effect, it'll have a larger impact later on. You might not see it now, but later. So, this space 
is based off of the original installation that I made for um, for the first garden. This one is like about manifesting your own inner self and your powers. Um, kind of like an evolution of your own being. That's why I put the dragon Nessie because um, there's something like ancient about them but also something like eternally new and like like they, they're part of like the evolution that's why they have like the dragonflies it's like that's like when they were younger kind of thing but like that's part of like the generational and actually in the comic you notice that the lotuses are actually nymphs so that's like the first stage is the lotus um, and um, I, uh, it's based off of this like folklore actually where um, they say that uh, you can wish upon a dragonfly and um, so I, I've been wishing upon dragonflies ever since I, I read about that and um, the thing is about wishes is that it's just the first intent but in the end only you can really make it come true so I felt like it was important to talk about manifesting your own power and it's always nice to wish for something but you're in the end it's about you actualizing it so let's go and see the next Do you remember the first time you smiled? Your first achievement? These memories live inside us. You can revisit them and the feeling is still there. This pure energy loves inside you. You shine bright even in the darkness. This is the humble bumble bear. Um, he's like the guardian of insight. Um, so in the original garden, the, there was pools of um, memories behind a waterfall inside of a cave. And so I was trying to kind of give that same impression. And um, this is also a hint to how to get out is follow the light basically so i want people to go oh okay here's the light um at first actually um one of them would lead out to the first scene so you would have to start over again and then that would give the sense of deja vu but um i felt like that would have maybe made some people mad so i just kept it as uh it changes it just brings you to the next step, no matter what. Um, I could always do an update where it does trick you into having deja vu, but I thought that was kind of mean in the end. Um, but yeah, this part is definitely about um, memories live deep within us, and they're part of the journey. Um, but no matter if like uh, memories heavy and dark you still have your bright memories there for you and um, they're as important and more important actually um, the dark memories can help with like learning some valuable lessons but um, it's not, it's not worth your time to 
be weighted down by it, you know? And it's okay to like feel it, of course. Um, and it's important, but just don't forget the light. In the comic, I uh, have an activity where you look in the pools of memory and you get to draw your favorite moment. So, um, write down in the comments what's your favorite memory. <laughs> Let me know. I wanna, I wanna know what's your favorite memory. Winter. At first glance, it might seem risky, but take a chance. You can probably do it. Sometimes it seems like a leap of faith will send you to hell, but you might be surprised that you shot for the stars. You may land in the best possible place within time space. I'm making a let's play. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, so this stage is fall, and um, like I said, the hint is uh, uh, sometimes a leap of faith seems like it's going to bring you to hell, but you might be surprised that you shot for the stars. Um, so this one, the clue on how to get to the next level is actually to jump off the level um, to get to the next step. So it's about taking risk and taking a chance because sometimes that's what you need in life. It's because um, you never know. It's all about probabilities, right? So sometimes you have to judge whether you're lucky enough to do it, but sometimes it's worth the risk, right? Um, but sometimes, yeah, it's, sometimes it's fate, you know, and that's what it's. Sometimes that's what you were meant to do. And uh, some people call you crazy, um, but it's, sometimes it's just important to follow your gut. So it says, doors open, go ahead, take a chance. So the door is this portal of light over here. Um, by the way, those are Alpha and Omega. They're like the uh, guardians of time space. Um, you see them in the comic, and I tell their origin story there. Then I have a side project where these phoenixes come to Earth and um, come in like angel form or like human form or something like that. Um, and it's kind of my way of like having like being like Spider Man um, <laughs> and like making people say. Um, and I just call it Raven Angel instead. By the way, this music uh, that you're hearing right now is by uh, Andy Poblete. They're awesome, honestly. Um, I heard this track um, on their SoundCloud and I was like, I have to have it for this game. just have to believe in yourself, apply your skills, harness your energy and then you will be able to harvest the fruit of your labor. You evolve through experience. You survive with an amazing ability to face the world and give it all you got. I'm impressed by your tenacity. You are quite incredible. May the rest of your journey lead you to great success. So this is Cat B. Um characters I made for um, this project um, and he's all about um, you know believing in yourself being yourself to be yourself you know it's all about self-expression um, and being true to yourself um, and sometimes it's hard but you know 
sometimes that's what's going to make you the happiest. Um, and so, I thought that was important to add. He's just like, um, taking pollen, <laughs> putting it in the basket. Um, he's the guardian of, um, the tree of life. And, uh, there's, I'm gonna make another game with this one, actually. Um, and you'll play as Cat B. And, um, there's going to be, um, I don't know if I should spoil it. <laughs> but you'll see. I have the first chapter written already. And, um, yeah. by uh, Sophie Marisi Marcilla, and uh, yeah all the all the credits are here um I was thinking um, all my friends that I asked questions to or uh, uh, to help me with um, making my first game in Unity you know it's not easy um I also you know used a lot of YouTube and I had to be resourceful but uh Thanks to everyone who made this awesome soundtrack. Um, Y'all are amazing artists. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this like sneak peek into um, the world of the garden. And um, I can't wait to make more games. I have the Space Time Bunny game coming out soon. Um, we are pretty much done at this point. All the levels. Um, we just have to... Um, finish some of the UI and um, the ending um, yeah the different endings uh, are gonna be a little bit there yeah I can't spoil anything for that one but you'll see new games coming soon um, and uh, if you like this let's play you know get the comic uh, it comes with the game inside and it comes with uh, free printouts of the game as well, um, of the comic. So if you liked coloring the comic, you can just print out more of them um, out on your own paper. Um, I just, um, I don't really mind about like the profits for this. I just want to be able to get back the money from printing these comics, right? So I don't mind if people print out um, their own versions. Um, so if you're like a teacher or a caregiver um, who wants to like entertain kids or whatever and like, oh hey, I got you a comic book, you know, or uh, if you're giving this to someone who has issues with like uh, dementia or uh, or depression, you know, um, it's just a feel-good toolkit type of thing. Um, it's not the answer to everybody's mental health issues, but it's just fun. You know, it's something that can kill time for a bit and um, help relax and uh, let you feel reconnected with your inner self so that's if it can do that for you you know that's that's the real goal you know so um it was a pleasure showing you around uh, <laughs> i hope you liked it uh, it took me a lot of time and i learned a lot throughout the process and i can't wait to show you my new games and my new projects i think you'll enjoy them as well